Welcome back. In this session, we're going to cover the three primary ways of interacting with the smart contract using Brownie. Scripts, console, and tests. Let's begin. We're going to assume we're going to create a new token. In this case, we'll call it Margarita. We saw previously how easy it is to create a, a Brownie mix and use it to provide a skeletal framework. We also looked at the basic building blocks of a Brownie project, scripts, tests, interfaces, contracts. We're gonna start within the scripts. This framework has a token built in and look how easy and simple tokens are. All we need to run this basic deploy script is to import the Brownie library. Within your scripts, you always have to import Brownie. Elsewhere within Brownie, it's implicit, but within scripts, you do have to import Brownie. We only need token and accounts. And then the name of the function here on line six is also important. When you're running a script on the command line, it's going to assume main. You can pass other arguments as we'll see, but main just makes it easy because you, then you just type brownie run token. It spins up, fires up a local Ganache instance, and our token is deployed. So scripts are great because they let you automate common tasks and handle deployments. And it's really easy to write your own script. Let's create a script that's going to dispense a bunch of margarita tokens. We'll build this out in two, shot, uh, two parts. First, we're going to just build out a shot function, which will deploy a simple token. The token deploy requires four arguments. The token name is margarita. We'll give it the symbol marg. 18 digits and one times 10 to the 21st will be minted. The first account that's created by default will be the beneficiary. And we can't just pass the file name. We have to also pass the name. Brownie run dispense shot. And again, no issues so far. Let's now run another function and show how to execute it in the console. Here we'll use the main default. And we're going to say that a margarita is more fun if we give out a whole bunch of shots around. So we will create a range of 10. And each time we're going to dispense a shot to one person. And we'll modify our function so that instead of being sent from the default account, it's sent from the index offset i. Let's load up our console and show how you can run a script from the console. All you need is the built-in run function. And you'll pass the file name within the scripts folder. Shots, 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 shots. 10 margarita shots dished out. Finally, let's take a look within the tests. There's three tests that were built in along with the conf test. Conf test is always interesting. This will import PyTest and create fixtures that we're going to use. Notably, isolate will perform a chain rewind after running each test. But then there's also our token. Well, let's change the name up here. And we're going to create a new test just to make sure that this has been minting properly. We'll call it test mint. Don't have to run any imports here. We'll pass to our test the accounts and the token, which will pass the token function here in conf test. And we're going to assert that the balance of the first account is exactly 1 times 10 to the 21st. And let's assert that the token symbol equals marg. Brownie test will run all the tests. So we'll just run the test mint that we created.
and both of our tests have passed. We've successfully minted a margarita token with the symbol marg and given the correct amount. We're going to be doing a lot more work with tests. So if you're interested in this, you are in luck. Stick around for future sessions. Next up, we will cover transactions.